Cheers, friends. Time to enjoy the show. So a lot of you fugazis like to DM me and ask me questions about being a metalhead. So I figured it's about time we do a little starter video. A how do you base it, if you will. Do yourself a favor, go out and get a death t-shirt. No one is going to question your metal validity if you're wearing a death t-shirt. That's just a solid fact. Just learn the name of one death metal band so you can go back and reference it later on. Because at the end of the day, no one's probably heard the fucking band. They can't read the logo, but you know it, and that's what counts. Honestly, but get some fucking meat on those bones. Go out, kill someone, eat their remains. Do what we need to do to get that protein intake. Because at the end of the day, if you're weighing 90 pounds, no one's going to think you're metal as fuck. And let's get serious here. We all know you're not pumping to Sabaton when you weigh 90 fucking pounds. You probably listen to Eminem, Daft Punk, or even worse, the fucking Nike band. My name's Mike, and I'm going to see the Nike show with my buddy today. I actually can't wait to see them. That's a real problem, and you should dispose of yourself. Listen, the more you get into metal, the faster you're going to realize that Philip Harlem Globe, Trotter, and Salmo is practically a Nazi. Dude, just fucking ignore it. Just ignore it. Just leave it, okay? There's nothing we can do about it. He's too far gone. We don't want to disgrace the good name of Down Super Joint, whatever the fuck he's in now. We don't need to Kevin Spacey-esque blacklist him. Just, just forget it. Just keep going with it. Just bang your fucking head. It's pan of fucking terror. Everyone loves him. Just, it, it, he, was, he was reaching for something else. He was talking about the White Power Ranger, okay? Just leave Pantera alone, please. The next thing you're going to want to do is, is start your own Black and Death and Crescent band. And the best way to do that is kick a bunch of sticks while you're walking around a forest, collect them, and throw them all together to get a band name. I'm pretty sure that says sodomy in Cantonese or something, so you know what? I think we'll go with that. Black and sodomy. Also, I don't have a Canadian accent. I don't know what you guys are talking about. All right, bud? What the fuck are you talking about? Alright, next up is getting to know your alcohol, because there's nothing better than blacking out at a show and forgetting all the songs that were played that night. Worst case Ontario, you wake up with a free t-shirt that you found at the floor of the pit, covered in beer and sweat, because that's the way it should be. So start yourself off with something like a nice Polish beer maybe. And then, and only then, can you work your way up to beer that is made by bands who haven't had a drop of alcohol in 20 fucking years, because sobriety is going to teach you the best way to drink beer, obviously. Start off with something nice like the Trooper Ale, and then let your career go to shit for 10 years or so, and then maybe make a comeback, but it's Megadeth. Do we really have any faith in Dave Mustard's name? I don't know. No, I don't think so. And once you've graduated from the carbonated bubblies of beer, just start downing fucking whiskey, man. Because that's going to get you drunk way faster. And thankfully, they make it child size, so you can start off small and work your way up to those fool's big ass 46 ounce bottles. And if you don't know what 46 ounces is, you can't kill yourself. And people will ask you, do you really need to be drinking beer to be a metalhead? The answer is yes, because there is nothing greater on the face of the planet than going to a show with your friends and getting drunk as fuck, and then slipping on beer and watching someone fall. All right, the next step is pretty self-explanatory. You need to get yourself a piece of venom. And how to do this? Go to a thrift shop, find the dirtiest, greasiest, smelliest piece of jean, and buy that. Or, you know, just go to Old Navy, but don't wear that fucking Old Navy denim out until you've ripped some holes into it and dipped it in some toilet water, because everyone knows you can't bullshit the mosh pit smell. That's just science. Or, you know, if you're really feeling lazy and you get to the thrift shop and you don't want to go inside, just find some random hobo that's standing outside and take his denim, because I guarantee he's got a few Pantera or Black Label Society patches on there anyway, because who else listens to those bands, right? Also, cut up your fingertips. Because no one's going to believe that you're thrash if you haven't cut your fingers, either sewing patches on your jacket or trying to learn one of Gary Holt's solos. And that wouldn't be very thrash if you're not bleeding on your patches, right? By the way, go get yourself some patches, you fucking dummy. And don't go on Amazon and get that shit. Go on the dark web, okay? Or some random obscure patch trading group from Brazil. And you can donate at least one kidney and get a bull thrower patch. If, if the guy's, you know, nice about it and everything. And at the end of the day, you're a metalhead. Which means you spent all your money on Slayer's Fell Royal Tour. So, you're going to have to steal your dad's credit card. Or maybe just toss someone in the pit, steal his credit card. Either way, you're going to need to get some money for those patches. Rip Pantera. If someone asks you if Ghost is a metal band, just smile and nod your head politely. Because chances are, they're too stupid. And they really like Scooby-Doo chase music. And at the end of the day, no one wants to argue about what genre Ghost is. Not even Ghost. 
The next step, you need to get yourself some band t-shirts. And if you're under the age of 16 and you can't go to any shows, I guess you could go to Hot Topic, because you'll probably find a reprint of Black Sabbath's first album on a t-shirt there. But don't let anyone know you're on a Hot Topic. Don't let anyone even see you inside of a Hot Topic. In fact, if you see another person at a Hot Topic, call them, sell, call them a fucking poser and kick them right in the nads. Fucking idiots, man. The other thing is that you have to know, metalheads love to argue. Generally speaking, it's about nothing, and they're more inclined to stay on Facebook all night instead of going to a show to argue just to prove their point. So what you do in this situation is you pick a side. Doesn't matter if your side's right or wrong, because generally speaking, both of you are wrong. And worst case on Cherio, assert your dominance, scream combat mosh, and fucking tank the dude over. Because if he's dead, he can't say anything, right? If you love metal and love YouTube, but don't know where to start, try with a guy named CBT. He makes really good beginner videos. And chances are, he'll probably rip off one of your video series and call it, you know, how to be a power metal vocalist. Thanks, Stevie. You're such a sweetheart. Respond to us. We know you live in Ontario. And then, you know, once you get bored of him, then try Jerry Dines. It's basically the same thing, but his voice is a bit easier to stomach. Once you realize you're tired of watching normies with short hair try to be metal, try Killbot Gorgor or Attack on for size. He at least has long hair, right? But then realize you find yourself getting annoyed with how he says, METAL! every other sentence. Today, I'm going to go door to door to talk about metal. The metal. The metal. The metal. The metal. The metal. And once you've given up on fake Phil Anselmo, you come to J-Hop Films. And yeah, we may not upload that many videos, maybe once every three years, but it's worth it. Trust. Next up, you're going to want to get yourself one of these bad boys. Now, bullet belts are a bit harder to come by in Canada, but if you live in the States, that's good news for you. Come on, let's get serious. There's fucking bullet shells lying around everywhere there. Walmart, in your Big Mac, in your apple pie, or whatever the fuck you people do over there. They're fucking everywhere. Go make yourself a bullet belt, you dummy. Next up, I want to learn you the difference between casuals and not casuals with this, with this Vin Diesel diagram here. So, you're one, I'm gonna draw two circles. Imagine booze if that makes it a bit easier for you. Now here, on this side, we have Thrash. This is a side you want to be on because it's a side with the most beer and the most bullet belts and chances are the best music. On this side here you have not Thrash and you might be asking yourself, Chris, what do you, what do you consider to be not Thrash? Think of the people you surround yourself. So for me right off the bat, there's this guy I know He's a most not thrash guy because he listens to Ghost, which brings us to the middle of the Vin Diesel diagram, which is where you have semi-casuals. Now, what are semi-casuals, you ask? Semi-casuals are people that listen to awful bands such as Ghost or Nightwish, or if they really have a problem, Sabaton. Now, these people may try to fool you into thinking that they're metal, but chances are they got cargo fucking pants with camo print on it from Carrie King's Dirty Laundry, so you're, you're not, they're not metal. They're going to try to seem that they're metal, but they're not. So you stick, you stick away from people that listen to all these normie bands and get away from people like Julian Hoffman or Cock Piehole. Because, I'm sorry, once you turn into a DJ, are you really thrash anymore? I don't think so. And then once you get to the thrash part, you get to enjoy the finer things in life. Such as... Falling in pits. Better solos. And most importantly, best mosh pits. Let's get serious here. No one's throwing their arms out of the fucking thrash show. And if you do, can't kill yourself. If you want to have a conversation with someone else about metal, but you listen to bands like... Avenge Sevenfold for whatever reason, and the other person is over the age of 14? Talk about Black Sabbath. I guarantee you there is no one in this world that has a problem with Ozzy Osbourne and the rest of Black Sabbath. Tony Iommi is a guy, and Geezer Butler is a priest. And if you disagree, literally kill yourself. I'm not going to fucking back down from that. Black Sabbath is the greatest thing to happen to heavy metal. Thank you. Last thing I got to learn you guys about, the proper gods that you need to be worshipping. Now, I know Easter's coming up and everything, and everyone's talking about Jesus, Mary, and the other guy that didn't get laid to make a kid. So, you need to worship the right gods. So instead of doing that whole Father, Son, whatever the fuck it is, it's in the name of Lemmy, Baloff, and the Holy Diver. 
and you get the rest of it. Thank you. Good night. Also, shout out to my buddies from Down Under and Durain for the awesome merch. Check them out. They've had songs in our videos for, um, what are the videos that we use Durain for? Sorry, do we make videos? No. Mm -hmm.